What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go by the name of Spear Spear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today we are in the southern parts of Gauteng in Van der Bale Park, which is adjacent or on the Val River. Looking at this magnificent home designed by award-winning architect Nico van der Meulen. As you can see from this external facade, it's incredible. Four bedrooms. This home under roofs about a thousand square meters on a 2.2 thousand square meter plot. This is truly a breakaway from that city life. So excited to share this tour with you guys. Before we get into this tour, massive thanks to AJ May for allowing us access to his listing. I'll put his details down in the description, also the property link as well. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Beginning the tour on the external facade of this gorgeous home. But before we get into too much detail around the home, as you drive in the main entrance gate and driving down the, the driveway, which is hedged by trees, plants, vegetation, you already get the idea of that this is going to be a very special home. And as you drive down the driveway, hidden behind this vegetation and trees, sort of like a, a, a beautiful reveal, you get this beautiful architecture, very contemporary. As I've said, Nico van Meulen designed this home. 2010 was, was when the build was done, but before there, two in front of us there, you get this large storage room, which does have a boat, lawnmower and other equipment. This equipment and other things are included in the sale. What's included in the sale is the boat, jetty, Lawn mower, which is valued just under half a million rand. But I'll list all the details in terms of what's included in the sale down in the description, so check it out. But as you can see here, very expansive uh, property. The property, the plot of this entire home is just under 2.2 thousand square meters. And the home itself is a thousand square meters under roof. And as you approach, you already see this beautiful architecture gray and white palette throughout and what Nico van Merlin is very famous for is his use, use of these beams throughout. Very stunning. And as we approach here, three car garage, but as you can see here, you can park plenty of cars if you are entertaining people throughout this entire area, you can park cars. But as well, as you can see, the driveway does continue down that way, which takes you down to the dock where you do have your docking station or your your harbor area where you can dock, be docking two boats and two jetties, which is also included in this property sale. As you can see, three car garages, and I've said this home is multi-leveled, four levels if you're being a little bit technical, but predominantly three levels. But as you approach here, this beautiful landing here with the staircase leading you to the main entrance. But before we get there, beautiful details throughout, and you'll see this floor finish. It's this crema marble, marble tiling throughout the interior of the home and on the exterior parts of the home, it was sealed perfectly to sort of waterproof the finish. And then adjacent or next to this flooring, the wall finish here, you'll get this silver gray tra travertine tile marble finish throughout, which is very stunning. It's very, it has this beautiful texture to it. Then going up these staircases or stairs rather, you do have this beautiful silver gray travertine marble on this wall finish, which is very stunning. I'll show you more on the interior of this property. Then as you look either side of the stairs, you do have these beautiful pebbles, and then you have these light fixtures which light up at night, which is very gorgeous. And it's also continuous on this side of the passage or stairs. To my left, you get the balcony space for this room, which I'll show you guys a bit later. And you also have a, another secondary balcony behind you guys there. But as you can see, leading into this home and transitioning into the interior of the home, very stunning. You're greeted by this large glass 
door or pivot door rather above it you have a beautiful skylight allowing natural lighting to the space and you'll see the use of skylight throughout going to my left and starting with the bedrooms first bedroom but before we get there as you'll see here these staircases or stairs come from the parking garage so you have direct access from the garage into the home very convenient and you'll see the use of the use of this see-through balustrades throughout where you'll see this incredible view of the Val River adjacent to the home but starting in this room first carpet finish throughout all the bedrooms and then all the bedrooms are en suite and as you can see this beautiful use of these balcony glass doors that stack all the way to the end i'll show you guys in the we'll show you guys in the cutaway shots it's beautiful how the system works where all those glass can stack to the side and then it's just a seamless transition to the outdoor area but just showing you guys this balcony that we were speaking about from this balcony you have the view of the basically i'd call this the the front yard of the side or did you call this the front yard or the yeah, backyard yeah, the front yard of the home. And then from here, you can see this entire front yard of the home. And then we'll show you guys, even with the, with the drone shots, there are uh, staff accommodation in the front side, side of the home. So you can accommodate your staff there. And then you can see this beautiful work here. You have this scratch finished, scratch plastered finish to this, um, to this columns and beams, very stunning. And as I said, this is a signature uh, design by Nico von Merlin. Then coming back into the interior of the home and going to the second bedroom. But before we go there, don't forget a couple of details in this room. Cabinetry space and then um, you have your ensuite bathroom here. Gorgeous finishes here. You have your bathtub, large double shower head, glazing hedge in this space. And you have a couple of windows there and on screw type fixtures and mixers. Beautiful floating vanity with the stunning gray finish to it. And then obviously, as I said, your bathtub there. Beautiful, the amount of natural lighting is a very is incredible here. I think the, the sun did come to play with us today. Obviously, then you have your water closet here and then bidet, but as well, look at this beautiful tile finish that you have on this wall here, beautiful. But as I come towards you guys, and you'll see one thing which is very common throughout this entire home is the use of a ceiling height or so playing around with the bulkheads, which is very stunning. And so, uh, in the more like the lounge rooms, you have this curved bulkhead, which is the first time we've seen it. So entering the second bedroom, this is the second bedroom on this level. Cabinetry space here with this beautiful sort of timber laminate finish. And then if you look at the scale, very generous. There you do have your own balcony space, but before we get there, you're greeted by this bathroom here, very large. You have this bathtub, shower, water closet, floating vanity here, and you have a double sink. And then throughout the space, you have this beautiful mosaic finish to this wall. And then above us, as I've said, the, the bulkhead and the suspended ceiling. And this is another door that you can use to go to the balcony space, but this is very nice that you do have your own balcony that you can access if you're staying in this room. Very stunning. And obviously you'll have this obscure glass giving you that privacy when you are using this bathroom. Then coming this side, as, as in the previous room, you do have this carpet finish throughout these bedrooms. Another detail which I want to point out, which is very impressive, it's very rare in terms of structural elements, having glass meet in the middle or in the corner of a room without a frame because of the structural necessities of the glass or the corner above but they achieve this type of finish by having these columns or these beams rather carrying the weight and transferring the weight to the columns and then to the ground and ultimately the foundations. Very good engineering and um, good use of um, beams and columns. Then coming back here to the passage and going down and looking at the third bedroom, but coming down these stairs, you are greeted by this beautifully lit passage. And that's through these large, glass panels, these skylights allowing that beautiful natural lighting pouring into the space, livening up this passageway. Here you do get your linen closet and then you are greeted here by this very, very large bedroom. I think this is the, the largest bedroom on this floor 
and as you can see very expansive you get your bed your main bed area here but just touching on the the ceiling and i think this is the best uh, illustration of what i was speaking about you have these suspended sort of square pieces of ceiling that have led lighting hedging it the bulkhead hedging it is very stunning and beautiful good work or good use of depth and then in the corner there you you have these balcony glass doors leading up to the small balcony here we do have the view of the front yard of this home also bringing in that natural lighting to the space and then as uh, as you can see i think this is my favorite room out of the three rooms because you do have the, the these large glass balcony glass panels looking into the backyard and the river and coming out into the balcony just to give you the a better view of this incredible scenic view here very tranquil area but as you can see i mean when you have the Val river just in your backyard to to enjoy on days where you're just trying to read a book come out to the balcony maybe have a seat here and just enjoy the view as i said that this driveway goes all the way down to your sort of harbour docking area and I mean the scale here is very impressive and then with in terms of privacy these these trees and plants sort of give you that privacy and security giving you your own private space here but one thing I do love the view from here you do have the view of the pool area and entertainment area where we're gonna go to a bit later very stunning but leading you guys back into the interior of this home as I've said, all the bedrooms are en suite. You do have this large cabin tree or joinery storage work here. And then above us, you have this beautiful LED lighting, just warming up the space or that illusion of warmth. Leading you guys into this en suite bathroom, very large shower, double shower head. You have your floating vanity here, double sink. And then behind me, you do get your, your bathtub, water closet and the door that leads you to the balcony space. I mean, th these rooms are very large and generous in space. And as I've said, this marble or crema marble, marble tile continues throughout uh, main, the, the main areas of this home. Coming back towards you guys and leading you to the first lounge area. Coming back to the main landing where we started, one thing I didn't mention is this barn door that you can close off the bedrooms with. So then coming up these staircases, and this is the first lounge area that we're gonna be looking at. Very large area, very stunning. And, and when I was speaking about the different uses of different uh, depths to the ceiling, this is what I was speaking about, but this is very impressive. It's not often, or this is the first time where we seeing this curved bulkhead being used around the ceiling. Very, it's, it's, it's very beautiful how they managed to use the stylistic shape to introduce a little bit more uh, information and detail in this room, very stunning. Um, then behind you guys, you have this beautiful use of this gray silver travertine marble tile. It goes from floor to the ceiling, very stunning. I love the texture that it has. It's almost, almost ages with time and becomes better with time. But then above it, you do have the skylight, which introduces this ton of lighting bouncing on this beautiful finish, very stunning. And then as you come this side, you have this glass, balcony glass, uh, doors which do stack all the way up as in the bedrooms but coming out here just to show you the view and I promise you guys the view keeps on getting better here from different angles but coming out here you see, see this entire view of your backyard from here because it's slightly elevated from the bedrooms where we're at you do see some of the the landscape, the Val and, and Van der Bale Park landscape, some of the houses surrounding this area and also the other side of the river. And one detail I'll show you guys a, a bit later when we get to the pool area is the suspended chain um, element or illustration where there is a little bit of a, a water feature attached to it. But uh, it's a surprise for those of you that stay till the end of the video. And then here you do have your braai, gas braai area with the four burner. Very, there's two braai areas on this entire property, which is very impressive if you don't enjoy braaiing downstairs in the entertainment area and you want your own area just to braai your voice, whatever steak, you can use this section here. Coming back into the property and then just looking at the, the, the amount of natural lighting pouring into the space, very bright home, which is very nice. And coming back 
to this main landing and leading up to the kitchen area. The reason why I was saying this home is multi-leveled, four levels, because you do get this level where we came from, where you have this lounge area, but then you do have the, the master bedroom or the main bedroom upstairs. And as well, down here, you do have uh, what they're currently using it as a storage place, but this can easily be, be used as a home library. Very incredible. And then the bedrooms that we came from is on a different level. And lastly, the entertainment area is on a separate level. So there's different levels that were used on this floor. But coming towards this, this level here, you have this laminate flooring throughout. Entering the kitchen, this is a beautiful gourmet kitchen, very large floor finish changes back to this crema marble, marble tiling. And then as you can see, very large kitchen. You have this standalone island here with this beautiful finish topped off here. Then here you get the Siemens integrated appliance, Siemens overhead extractor, and then Siemens electric stove. And then as you can see here, plenty of cabinetry space. And even behind you guys to my left, you have this white gloss finish to this cabinetry work. And then uh, these handles are very cool as you have this chrome finish to it. Bosch appliances, and this is a very cool mechanism that they have to this cabinetry space, which is, um, this, you're seeing the reaction in live time here. It's very cool. But finishing off this cabinetry space and coming towards you guys, as you can see, you have plenty of sort of uh, countertop real estate, large window here, bringing your natural lighting into the space, and then also um, additional cabinetry space here. And then in this home, you do have a scullery pantry area. This is more the functional area of the home. You do have a five gas hob burner, Extra, extra fridges here, cabinetry space, and then behind here you have your more of your laundry facilities here, coffee station, very stunning. There's a lot of functional space throughout, which is something that Nico from Merlin is, is known for, having that philosophy of functionalism, uh, prioritizing functional spaces over form. Very stunning. Then coming towards this side where you do have your your formal lounge or formal dining area, rather, table for eight, giving you this beautiful view of the outdoor area, which we'll touch on. And then this side, you do have your lounge space here. And I love that every single space in this home does have natural lighting pouring into space by using all these balcony glass um, panels. Interesting thing about these glass panels or this balcony glass panels is that at the time of building or purchasing, these glasses, they were valued at 1.4, 1.5 million. And then and that was in 2014. And then you can imagine in today's market, probably closer to 3 million Rand. Um, so very impressive. <laughs> so then coming this side, you do have balcony space leading you to the front yard of the home and the staircases leads you down to the driveway where we started this tour. Then looking at the study and the study does have and another thing about a study in terms of functional spaces and convenience, a lot of the times the study is very separate from any water closet facility, but then this study has direct access or close proximity to this water closet here. Beautiful high quality finishes. Really love this back or the, the, the backsplash or the tile finish on that wall opposite us. It's more of this tan, tone finished the tiling work. And then either side of this room you, or water closet area, you do have this white juxtaposing that finish there. And you also have these large horror vertical uh, mirror pieces, which sort of uh, maximizes the, the, the feel or delusion of space in that water closet or powder room. And then as you can hear, see here, this, this is the study area. You do have air con, you have centralized air con throughout this home, specifically in the bedrooms, and then you do have underfloor heating in some of the spaces in this home. Coming back here, and as you can see, one thing I didn't mention is the view. You even have a view from the space here. Incredible, I love the flow of this area, very open. You have that open plan concept where each space sort of leads into the next. Leading you guys back this side of the home to the main landing where we started on this floor 
these, these staircases lead you into that area where I was talking about the, the main or the home library where you can create the, the home library. But leading you guys this side, you have this very rare Zimbabwean black granite finish to the treads of the staircase very beautiful but you do have the illusion that these staircases or the, these treads are floating but then you do have this glass finish to these risers which is actually uh, very much structural as well and then hedging the space you do have the see-through balustrades which as i've said before giving you this endless feel of view then going up to the main bedroom of this home but hedging or adjacent to the staircase you do have this again the silver gray uh, travertine marble finish very stunning and continuous all the way to the top of the ceiling or the underside of the ceiling and then you do have this large very impressive large frame to this aluminium sliding door leading you to this private balcony space where from here you do have views as well but leading you to this main bedroom all the rooms that i'm sure you guys have seen has this timber door frame leading you to the bedrooms and as you walk in here very large room very expansive generous in space throughout this room you have these glass doors Balcony doors giving you that natural lighting pouring into this room. So you really need um, to be using your, your lights here because of the amount of natural lighting. And as you can see, very large. From here, you do have views. I think from here, you have better views of the dam area and the dam going down that way downstream. Very beautiful. And you also have views of the entertainment area. And as I've spoken a lot about this balcony these balcony glass doors meeting here in the corner but these 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 beams allow that to to happen and then coming to this side as well there's a lot of pockets and different areas of balcony space that can be accessed from bedrooms and then you have another balcony space here which we just saw from outside in that large aluminium glass door then coming towards the bathroom here as well very large continuing that theme of everything being of palatial scale and one detail that I absolutely love here is this beautiful marble mosaic finish here. Very stunning and contemporary installation. And then you have your standalone Durovitz bathtub here, hedged by this beautiful finish, tan tile finish. And then here you have this tab fixture and mixture, and then floating vanity, double sink. And then this side, you do have your double shower. And the one thing I do love about this walk-in shower is that you do have this glass which protrudes out into the balcony giving you this effect or illusion that you're showering outside with this incredible view but as well it's frosted here so you have a little bit of privacy while you're doing your thing here to my left this room does ha have its own walk-in closet above as you enter here as well carpet finished throughout but as you can see above us you have the skylight bringing you this natural lighting. And in front of me, you do have a door that leads off to another balcony space, hedging this entire walk-in closet. You do have plenty of cabinetry space. And then this side, you have more cabinetry space. I think you'll never complain with this amount of cabinetry space. And coming towards you guys, finishing off this bedroom, one thing, or the next thing rather that we're gonna be looking at is downstairs where we will find the indoor and outdoor entertainment area. So coming back to the main floor where we started this tour, as you can see here, floor to ceiling fenestration, very impressive use of glass here. Bring you this natural lighting again into this main area, then using these stairs to go down to this indoor, outdoor entertainment area, almost lounge-like area. But as you can see here, continuous use of this crema marble marble finish very stunning and then as you can see here as i've said in the beginning this beautiful use or design of bulkhead that curves around the ceiling and suspended ceiling very stunning detail which i absolutely love and then this space here flows perfectly out into the outdoor entertainment area and this space here as you can see you can use it for anything really you can have your outdoor furniture 
outdoor dining experience that you can have here because you have your pool area here which is very gorgeous it almost has that infinity edge type of overflow feature towards the end or the perimeter of the the pool and then you have these beautiful um, bird installations is this the is this a crane i think these are blue cranes blue cranes yeah this is absolutely gorgeous as you can see behind the, the backdrop you can't complain about this view and then coming towards this side you do have your this is the second gas bry six burner of this entire home and as you can see while you're having people over guests you have your your dining set up there you have your bright area here very much convenient and then if you look in front of us there you do have your secondary pool area or water area there where this the water from the pool sort of beautifully overflows and head or goes down in a waterfall manner this beautiful cladding it's it's actually so tranquil and mesmerizing to see and then you have this beautiful i'm sure people are asking this paint installation what is it for i'll just show you guys now what it's used for it's actually very cool it you have this water feature that is just i guess um so as you can see the water is sort of channeling and then you have this water feature coming out which is very cool. I, I, we've never seen anything like this. And as well, you can light it up at night. You can have a, a light coming out the top. Very stunning. And then finishing off the tour here, you can see this, in terms of the structure here, this is very much, as you've seen in the beginning, a Nico van Mullen signature piece. The, use, the beautiful use of these beams and columns creating this beautiful finish here. So those of you who have made it this far in the tour, thank you so much for watching it. We always appreciate or appreciate you guys supporting us, commenting down below. We like interacting with you guys to see the types of areas that you guys like, like to see. But before we get out of here, massive thanks to AJ May, the listing agent of this property, for giving us this opportunity to share his listing with you guys. I'll put his contact details down in the description and as well the property link in the description. From us at Les Propin, to you guys, see you next week.